In the last video, we covered this. Now, with this video, I'm going to be introducing blur modes, concentrating on the Gaussian blur, and then also working with transitions that can easily be done with the opacity. So in my Premiere, again, here's my audio on mute. Here is my waves, and here is my box with the type. If I come down here again, and the closer I bring these two circles, the closer I can, the more I can see my media. But again, working on a small screen can be challenging at times. So what I want to do is just bring this guy, the surfer, right next to the water. And I'm going to have a hard cut in a way because we're going to soften it up with the blur. And there we go. So right next to each other. I'm going to come over here to effects. So remember I'm in the effects panel up here. I can change that to editing at any time. And I'm just going to type in blur. So if we come down here, it's going to be under video effects, blur and sharpen. And there's multiple different blurs here and even sharpens that can help. Um, but I'm going to come to the Gaussian blur. I'm going to put that right here on top. Now it doesn't work automatically. It just knows that um, because it's colored in, just like this one is because it has that multiply on there now, um, that it has an effect. So now what I want to do is I, I found my Gaussian blur over here and I want to come over here. I want to actually shrink this in, just rearranging my space to what fits me the best. And I'm going to come and find my blur. So we're going to suck some of these guys up that I don't really need right now per se. And here's my Gaussian. And I want that in the beginning. So I sort of want to blurry until about maybe like right here where it comes crystal clear. So I'm going to put my playhead here and it's right here. And what I'm going to do, blurriness, I'm going to start my stopwatch, much like timeline in Photoshop, much like After Effects. I'm going to stop that and I'm going to put 100. And then I'm going to click off of that and you can see there's a keyframe there. And then I'm going to come here. So this playhead is, again, that playhead. And about right, maybe here, we'll make it at 0. So because I'm changing this, um, I don't need to add a keyframe in. It will add one in for me. So if I just hit spacebar, play that back. Great. So that is just to show you that a simple Gaussian blur can be interesting to introduce a scene or fade out a scene or maybe even fade out in the background to show information on front. So maybe there's people wearing a lot of different colors to make it bright, um, but you still want information to be read. You can blur that out slightly. And there's a whole bunch of different ways that you can work with the blur. So go ahead and, and play around with those. But really, just remember, you just have to click and drag it right on top of your clip. And just remember, you have total control. So you come over here and you find that because it will add that FX, that effect, FX equals effect. It will add that effect into your effect controls. Remember, we're still in effect up here. And this way, um, you can see how you want it to, to play off. So I wanted a vertical. Um, and horizontal, you can work with that, and, and you have those options. And if I ever want to, I can move this out a little bit more, move it in, but I liked where it was. And then crystal clear there. Now the next thing I want to do is bring in those seagulls. So I'm going to go find those. There they are. And instead of bringing it right next to the surfer, I want to overlay it, because I have a nice panning shot. Um, with the surfer and I want to give him a chance to survive a little bit longer and then here comes my birds and if that happens for some reason where your thing is small go ahead and scale it up I'm not sure why they came in small but um, that could happen from time to time 
maybe a miss um, size and saving. Just make sure it's not blurry. Now what else is driving me a little crazy is that it's a little bit too brown. The transition, like this is a really lovely blue, sort of a sunrise, um, could be a sunset type of thing. And then you go to this sort of like washed out brown kind of water too. So I just want to come to color and I actually typed in color. You can go to luminary color and there's a bunch there, but I actually just want you to go to auto color and click on there. And you can see how much that's brightened it up, how it's blued out a little bit more. Um, there's a lot more you can do to this if you wanted to, but if something seems off or uh, a little too dark, feel free to go to the luminary presets and, and click on any of those. So if I come here, since so space 100, you can see how that made it a little bit more intense there. Um, monochromatics kind of interesting so a lot of these are just experimentation figuring out what you like if you see something that looks interesting go ahead and look it up see if they have an example of it for you but they're all right here for you so you can work with the um, the effects there you could just punch in color and go to autocorrect and for me that worked because it made it a little bit less brown and dull and really um, heightened up those colors so I want to make sure that there's enough of the surfer where, um, you know, he goes from the blur, there's enough of him, and there's going to be enough of the birds flying. And so from here, what I'm going to do is come to my opacity, which is right here. So maybe click up on those so they're not in my way. And I'm going to, now I'm going to do the top one because the top one is what you see above everything else, right? It's a stacking order. So just remember that. So I'm going to come to my opacity and I'm going to start at zero. And then I'll move that to right here where it will be under. And I think that's a really interesting transition as well. We come here and show that and I would do an ease in and an ease out so all I'm doing here is highlighting this clicking on these and it just um, just like how it would make an animation smoother it makes this smoother as well much smoother yep again I'm going to make those bigger so there we go. So that is a Gaussian blur right there. Crystal clear and then going into a nice fade. And you know, those are sometimes the best transitions when they're just nice and subtle and they work well telling a story.